Dambali as per one version, it dates back as an institution to the pre-Aryan culture. When Kashmir was inhabited by Nagas and Pishachas, and Dambali being a very popular game of recreation with them, and when the Aryans came over here, and when these Nagas and Pishachas, the indigenous tribes of Kashmir, were driven out of the valley, and they were settled later on in the Himalayan regions of Kohima, of Nagaland, and Nepal. They carried this institution to that place. That is why we are having a unique type of, a similar type of folk dance that is known as Dame in Himalayan regions. And here in Kashmir, we pronounce it as Dambar. It is a means of amusement. A sort of amusement which is usual as a means of recreation from times immemorial in the valley of Kashmir. It is synonymous to Punjabi Bhangra or any kind of dance or any kind of regional dance. Dambal is a, a kind of folk religious dance that prevails in a section of uh, the devotees of uh, later rishis, rishis uh, of uh, that period uh, which uh, where we find a syncretism of uh, the Sohravardi and rishi beliefs. <laughs> Rishis have markedly influenced the Kashmiri culture for centuries. As a result of this influence, the people of the valley have adopted certain traditions. Living with them for so long, these practices have found a permanent place in the Kashmiri culture. On the birth anniversaries of the Sufi saints, people throng the shrines. Edibles are distributed, recitations done, prayers offered to seek the blessings of the Creator. May a touch with the walls of the shrine and the tombstones is deemed sacred enough to relieve one of troubles and agonies. With folded hands, and tearful eyes, devotees supplicate for their health and well-being. Among many rituals prevalent in the culture of Kashmir, Dambali is one of the most interesting. Popular folk dance associated with Baba Nasiruddin Ghazi, a Sufi saint known for his generosity as Abu al Fukra, meaning father of the poor, Dambali is performed at many shrines in the valley. This is the Dargah of Lal Bad Sahab, located in the periphery of the Sirinagar city. Every year, the festival of Dambali is celebrated here in July. Yeti part be fikri pewas. Ait part mushmi yeti Dambal sabda. Balki yem jada ajdad sahanchi. Kim te ais banan yeti part ais fikri pe ta ait part se Dambali yeti chala. Ochi dhamasu do kari be yem do be dhamal tar. Kya ashurozna sehat ashurozna panun dilok sukun yushu ashi ashurozna to barab. The celebrations are in full swing. Everyone is seen enjoying the roadside vendors selling out sweets, toys and other things of fun and amusement. The whole village assuming a festive look which continues from early morning to late evening. People around, curiously waiting for the dance to get underway. 
men, women, young, old, everyone waits for the drums to beat. The folk dancers called Dambali Fakirs take their time to prepare for the final performance. Tools are being tested before the final action starts. Performers get themselves spruced up for the final moment. They are busy tying colorful turbans, aprons and waistcoats, tight enough to withstand the rigors of the dance. Wait continues. People from all around gather in groups. By and by, the crowd gets bigger and bigger. With drums, cymbals and sticks, the troop comes out marching with the standard bearer carrying aloft a huge banner called Alam. The people around try to catch hold of the sacred cloth. They cluster around the banner which is fixed at a spot. And thus begins the grand show with fiercity incantations and fervent prayers. <laughs> watch the scene breathlessly, expressing their faith in this traditional dance form. It gathers momentum and the beholders cannot resist joining it. Pushing aside the actual dancers, they take over. The feet pacing fast on the ground, dust engulfs the air. The social significance of the festival not to be argued, but over the religious and spiritual aspect, there are varied views. Besides being a dancing form, it's considered a way of worship. On this point, the experts on culture and history differ. Some see a mystic merit, and others rule out the religiosity from the dance. I think that the Mali has nothing to do with religion and it is no service to religion at all. No, so far the Dambali is concerned. It has a mystic origin according to a very cemented version. Because this exercise is generally performed on special occasions, particularly on the Urs days of the local saints. So we cannot divorce it from the religious or the mystic merit. That is there. In Islam there is no place to uh, music. Uh, instrumental music. There is no place for dance. There is no place for visit that way. Then there is no at all, no place at all for the kind of Damal that we have at the moment being practiced by a section of people who consider themselves the devotees of the Rishis. And you know that that Rishi, the founder of Rishi movement, the great Sheikh Sheikh Nurdin, we have no, not at all, no information that he ever resorted to this kind of religious ritual. Not at all from, not at all there is any information that the, his khulafa like Baba Zainuddin, Baba Bamudin, Baba Latifuddin, Baba uh, Hardi Rishi and others, no, none of them has resorted, resorted to this kind of practice. These Babas, they, uh, they were making their disciples to beat drums only. And by beating these drums, they were getting the people together. People were coming from the peripheries of that area, in which particular area this action was being done. 
so the people were coming and collecting at a place then the particular these these uh, saints these babas were disseminating their mission of social reformation when islam no way sanctifies the very act of song and dance why then the islamic interpretations of this age long tradition of tambali some of the muslim missionaries did not compromise with it but it was it was so deeply embedded with the mentality of the people that with the passage of time the missionaries had also to compromise with it interpretation the side opinions not to be heeded any more people from the profession are besotted by the will of dancing to the beats meanwhile Numerous dancing troops from different parts of the valley join in. The surroundings boom with the thunderous beats of the drums, heard from all the four directions. Hardly troubled by the scorching sun, the spectators watch the dance with passion and patience. The dancers go into a tizzy while dancing to the drum beat. Unmindful of the surroundings, the dancers get lost in their act to the extent that they sometimes overdo and fall down. It happens often. The people watch in anticipation. The show goes on. parents hand over their children to be held aloft while performing dambali sounds strange but they take pride when their child hops with the beat Dambali fakirs mostly belong to the poor and backward section of the Kashmiri society popularly called bands these people adopt the profession of their fathers and forefathers and transmit the same to their own progeny thus keeping the practice alive besides being an anniversary to celebrate it's also a day for them to earn they are firm in their faith and hold fast to it as it's a source of sustenance for most of them یہ چھ بالکل بیکار سے تک جماعت ہے تو درمیان کا تھیری انہیں یم چھ زمین ورے سری وے سے دمبل جماعت چھ اشن زمین میں چونکہ وہ چھ اشن لوگ یہ اس پتہ ہم پتہ دمبل پتہ لوگ نے گسان چھ اسی کران جو ہے کس چونکہ ہم سے گئے دمبل میں ہم سے گئے اشن تے ریسٹرکشن چلان کہ تو کیا چھ اشن ریسپیکٹ چلان صرف دمبل میں تھی ہم اشن دانی سمراوان ہر دا یہ چھ بڑا احترام کران اس یت کے سو بانڈ اوس برون سو مسخر اوس آسان The institution of Dambali is on the decline. Those associated with this profession see a marked change in the attitude of people towards this folk dance. Experts have reasons to offer. Now people, because of being educated, because of having scientific temper developed on account of new learning they have now they not only can now read and write but they have they can they analyze themselves what is prescribed what is not what is what is islam and what is accretion drawn from the other environments with the advancement of education and with the coming of the different socio religious reform movements people lost the credibility people lost the faith in such exercises despite the decline there is no dearth of people who lay welcome mats for the folk dancers 
They invite them on auspicious occasions to perform Dambali and invoke blessings. Thus, the age-old tradition of Dambali goes on.